Greetings everyone and welcome to this video on reporting for the repeated measures ANOVA. So building on the previous two videos after we have performed our repeated measures ANOVA and plotted the results we are now ready to report our results. So a repeated measures ANOVA with the greenhouse geyser correction was performed to com uh, compare the effect of food eaten on time taken before celebrities reached. There was no statistically significant difference in the time taken by the celebrities to reach between the different kinds of foods uh, with an F value of 3.794 uh, degrees of freedom between groups of 7 and within groups uh, 1.599 and a P value of 0 0.063 which means that it, it isn't statistically significant. Uh, we may also choose to report um, the descriptives uh, as shown in a previous video and the following plot shows the means of the time in seconds uh, taken to wretch after eating disgusting foods of the four groups plotted with 95% confidence intervals. The rain cloud plot combines an illustration of data distribution with jitter draw data and box plots and of course, uh, they help to clearly visualize the data between the four groups uh, for time uh, taken before celebrities reached. And um, coming to the post hoc uh, Bonferroni multiple comparisons test, uh, since we have flagged the significant comparison, there is only one we can see here between stick insects and fish eye, which we can clearly see uh, here between the stick insect and the fish eye. The mean difference in the time taken by celebrities to wretch after eating stick insects and fish eyes was uh, 4 seconds as shown here with a 95% confidence interval of 0 0.065 seconds to 7.935 seconds and a p-value of 0 0.045. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.